Hey folks, welcome to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. I am Lewis Carlin, and I want to talk about the Rascals. As we know, the Rascals have been evicted from the Treehouse, and they are leaving Impact Wrestling. And the rumor is that they have a standing deal with the WWE, and they're going to sign with the WWE. That's that's the rumor. But let me go over something first. Let me go over something that I've read something a little interesting. And I'm sure other people have read it, but something that I caught. Not sure if many people caught this. It was a, an article um, that was a uh, Wrestling Inc. article. And it says, according to a report from PW Insider, the Rascals' departure appears to be a legitimate farewell, barring a last-second chain change and that's in quotes so somebody quoted that it doesn't say who quoted it but somebody quoted barring a last second change so my thought on that is what if this whole thing what if the rascals leaving impact wrestling is just one huge swerve what if what if they're not leaving what if it's just a huge storyline and everybody's been fooled what if what if they're not what if they're sticking with impact wrestling think about that for a second this would be a great storyline and this storyline would work because they're not uh, they're recording their their tv tapings are being recorded not in front of a crowd but it's being recorded in a studio again with no crowd so no spoilers are are coming out which which i think is fantastic because i hate spoilers i try to avoid them like the plague uh but but because it's on a close set there's there's no spoilers coming out so nobody actually knows if the rascals have record have taped any more matches beyond the rich swan match that's coming up next week i kind of thought the whole thing was a storyline from the start that was my initial reaction just the way the whole thing was done but you know they announced that they're that they have standing order offer from the WWE and they're most likely going there. But think about this: what if? And this is a what if scenario. What if part of the deal between the WWE and Impact Wrestling for allowing Impact Rest, for allowing the WWE to use footage, Impact footage of AJ Styles in their um, in their uh, DVD or or wwe network video that they uh that they um produced what if part of the deal was allowing impact wrestling to some time somewhere down the road which is now to use the wwe name as part of some sort of storyline what if what if what if they that was part of the deal and that's what they're doing right now what if what if the rascals show up at not turning point but what if they show up at hard to kill what if they show up at hard to kill and they attack rich swan and they take out rich swan and they're not the rascals anymore they they have a different name and when they say the rascals are departing the rascals name is departing but that but trey des and wentz are not they're they're sticking what if they show up and attack rich swan and they cost him the match they cost him the title they're starting a feud with rich swan I think that would be great. What if that happens? What if that happens? Is it is it likely? It's probably not. But just think, what if what if this whole thing is a huge swerve? It's something to think about. I, I just thought it, I thought it was interesting that they that they um, have in quotes barring a last second change uh, that, uh, that 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 appears to be a legitimate farewell barring a last second change. Okay, because again, the whole thing felt like a storyline right from the start. What if it is a storyline? And if it is a storyline, it's it's one of the best storylines that that they that they've put out there because everybody is fooled, because everyone is fooled right now. Everyone is is convinced that they're going to the WWE. And if it is a storyline, and again, most likely not, but if it is a storyline, well done Impact Wrestling, well done Rascals, you fooled everybody. And. I hope it is because I really don't want the Rascals to leave. <laughs> I, I I like the Rascals. Another thing, another. What if like the Rascals? You know, it seems like they weren't used properly. They were never champions. They were never really given a real opportunity. What if? What if that's part of the storyline, that they were never really given a real opportunity as as the Rascals, and they they pretended that they're leaving, but then they're coming back again as another as another group with another name, and they're they're taking matters into their own hands. I think that would be great.
I think that would be great. And again, it's 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 me just thinking out loud. Probably not going to happen. But but what if it does? What if it does? And on that note, I'm going to say thank you for joining me today. I am your host, Lewis Carlin. This is the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.